Chase, hey, looking good. How are you feeling? Uh, great. Too bad the doctors don't agree. Hey. Hey. Oh, Yuri. Oh, the kitchen. The new cook is from Belarus. Go figure. Hmm. Oh, Gladys has been blowing up my credit card all day. Please tell me you've come up with a plan to stop Gladys's blackmailing me so that I don't have to declare bankruptcy. I just had another checkup, and Dr. Schoenberg still won't sign off on me returning to active duty. You know, this extra caution has Finn's handwriting all over it. Yeah, he may be a little overprotective, but he's just looking out for you. He wants to make sure you're ready to go full throttle without any relapses. And isn't that what you want, too? Okay. I'll try to be a more patient patient. <laughs> just don't tell him I said that. You wouldn't dream of it. You know, Finn's lucky to have you by his side. <sighs> Thanks for letting me know. Okay, yeah, keep me posted. Okay, bye. Valentine's awake. Thank God. Anna said that surgery went well and that the doctors are optimistic. I'm so relieved. Me too. Let's just hope it continues that way. Did Anna say anything about the search for Peter? Just that um, the trail is cold, that there have been no signs of Peter since Anna and Valentine saw him in Crete. Yeah, great. That means Peter could be anywhere, including on his way to Port Charles. Valentine can't find out Bailey isn't his daughter until Peter is caught. He'll be more likely to understand once Peter is locked up or dead, which I'm sorry to say wouldn't exactly be a tragedy. That would obviously be safest for Bailey. But right now, the danger is closer to home. How do we neutralize Gladys? Oh, that woman is such a menace. I swear, it's like she actually enjoys causing trouble. OK, since Gladys's only priority is herself, we have to convince her that telling Valentine will cost her more than she could gain. Right. Mutually assured destruction. Go on. We need leverage. Oh, problem is that neither of us can be the one to set the trap. If, if she smells either of us, she'll be on guard. We need a third party. No, 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 Maxie, we cannot bring in another person. No, no, we don't have to tell him why we're going after what? Gladys. Him? Well, who's him? What was his name? Pip? Skip? Trip? Are we talking about a person or a puppy? I need to call Nina. Nina? Maxie? Hey. Oh, hey. How's it going? Chase, it's nice to see you up and about. Glad to see both of you. Maxie, I'm actually glad I ran into you. I've been studying your daughter's kidnapping case while I've been on desk duty. I have some more questions about the night your daughter went missing. Chase, can you be any more insensitive? Blindsiding Maxie, asking her questions about her missing child. Well, I didn't mean to blindside you. I'm just trying to plug up a few holes in the investigation. Yeah, by barging in and, and interrogating the victim. Maxie, I'm, I'm so sorry. If you want to take a second and gather yourself, we, we totally understand. Oh, yeah, if you'll just excuse me for a minute. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to upset you. I 